Thank you again for joining us today. We're going to be covering how to create video quizzes with Kaltura. And if you just joined us, uh, hopefully your sound and your audio, everything's working. So we do have quite a full agenda, um, but before we actually start, I do wanna throw a quick question at you. So give me just a moment here, and I'm going to create a poll, and you'll see that in the center of your screen. So give me just one moment. Okay, so hopefully you can see this little uh, poll that just popped up in the middle of your screen. I'm just curious uh, which course view you're using this fall. So that might be the ultra style course room, original. If you have more than one class, you might be using both. Well, it actually looks like the majority of you may be using um, original, but quite a few of you are using ultra. So um, today when we talk about how to embed your video quiz in your course, I'm going to make sure to demonstrate both. But I was just curious about our own demographics here within this group. My name is Megan Holt. I'm an Instructional Support Coordinator here at the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning. And you'll see my email address right there in the middle of your screen. So after this session, I know you'll think of many questions. Feel free to send me an email directly, where of course you can contact the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning. So I do have a pretty full agenda for us today. And we're going to dive actually right into the demonstration piece. So the very first thing that we're going to do together is I'm going to show you how to create a Kaltura video quiz. And when we do this, I'm going to start out with showing you how to customize your settings. There are certain control options that are available to you as the instructor, so we'll go over those. Uh, then we're going to take a look at the introductory screen. Students will get a screen prior to the start of their video quiz um, and it'll show them, you know, instructions and give them fair warning that this is actually an interactive quiz and not just a standard video. And then we're going to take a look at the various types of quiz questions. And we'll play around with those and followed by that we will embed these actually in a course. So. That's going to be the demonstration piece. We'll come back to this room here and I will show you some slides on best practices and potential pitfalls. I can tell you all about those because I've discovered them firsthand. I have some suggested reminders and of course a formal wrap up with all of your questions. So I'm going to get ready now to share my screen with you and do the demonstration piece. But before I do that, are there any quick questions right away? Okay, it sounds pretty quiet in here. Uh, just to make sure, does anyone want to send me um, an emoji or a thumbs up in the chat pod? Make sure we're all on the same page. Oh, Joe, did you send me a clown? What is that? Perfect. All right, it sounds like we're all set to go. And of course, I did forget to mention earlier, um, while I am recording this, I will send you the recording in a follow-up email. All right, here we go. So I always tend to navigate to Kaltura when possible from Blackboard. 
So we're going to go right here to the tools menu. We're going to go to Kaltura My Media. I am assuming that some of you have already played around a bit with Kaltura. Maybe you've already downloaded it to your computer. So at this stage, you may have even generated your own video content. Now, when you create a video quiz, you can actually use just about any video in your library. This could be something that you uploaded, something you recorded, or even one of those Kaltura, um, or pardon me, not Kaltura, one of those YouTube index videos. Now, the one note of caution with that is if you use a video from YouTube, if the owner takes it down, you will lose your content in here. Now, I do hear some pinging back in the main room, so I, I will pause periodically to come back to those questions. Um, but I'm just going to start with this piece for now. Um, when you create a video quiz, the nice thing is you will not lose your original video. It's actually going to copy it and convert it into a, into a quiz format. So you'll end up with two videos. You'll have your original video, and then you'll have the video quiz. So we're just going to go right here to the Add New. We're going to select Video Quiz. Now, it's basically asking me which of my videos that's already in my library do I want to turn into a quiz. So you can see all of them show up here. I can go through any of them that I like. So we'll just pick this one. Now, my recommendation to you is if you are using a video that you recorded or that you uploaded, if you want to make any edits to it, I highly recommend doing that first. Save making it as a quiz for the very last step. Now, right here, we have a bunch of different options available to us. So let's just take a look at the different arrows and let's work our way down. So when you get to the details panel, you can change the name of the title if you would like. And you also get to customize uh, a message to your students, which I really like. In this one, it has a generic, in this video, you will be given a quiz, good luck. But you can add to this and you can give pointers to your students. Uh, one of the pointers that I like to give them is to remind them to try to finish the quiz in one setting. We've noticed that Kaltura is a bit finicky when it comes to their video quizzes. And if students pause the video and try to resume it at a later time, um, it, it can cause some errors. So it, it's really nice to preface the quiz with, you know, a message saying, in this video, you will be given a quiz. You might even want to tell them how much time you anticipate it will take them to get through the video. And encourage them to try to finish it in one setting. I'm not saying that they have to. Um, but that's usually when the errors occur is when somebody pauses it. Okay, our next, uh, well, I guess I should scroll down here a little bit. And they have instructions here. Now, um, this is the standard instructions that were developed by Kaltura. If you don't like their instructions, you can just uncheck the box. Do you want to allow viewers to download the list of questions before starting the quiz? Uh, you can uncheck that box as well, which I anticipate a lot of you would prefer them not to have access to prior to the quiz. All right, our next little arrow here is all about our scores. Now, there are two different ways to embed uh, Kaltura quiz material in your, in your Blackboard course, and I will show you how to embed them as a graded activity and also as an ungraded activity. So we'll take a look at both of those pieces here in a bit. So here are some different things that you get to choose from as an instructor. Do you want them to have multiple attempts? You might want to check this box even if you tell your students they only have one attempt. Uh, for instance, if their computer freezes um, and they have to restart it, it's nice to already have this box checked. But again, that's up to you. Um, do you want them to see their score right away? That's up to you. Do you want to include answers? So 
if they mark it wrong, um, do you want them to see what the correct answer is? And finally, after that, we have the experience piece. Do you want your students to be able to change their answers? And then you have some things here. Do you want them to be able to skip ahead? Do you want to prevent them from fast forwarding through the video? Then you would select this box. Now, there is one caveat to this. If you want to prevent them from fast forwarding through the video, you need to also make sure that they are not allowed to skip. Now you can select that box. All right. So I heard some pings back in our in our workshop classroom there. So I'm going to go back and take a look at some of the comments. Melanie, who do we contact when our videos won't upload? Uh, you contact the Center for Innovative Teaching and Learning or myself, whoever you prefer. Oh, thank you, Diane. I appreciate you uh, putting that information in there. So somebody asked, where do we download Kaltura? All right, let me share my screen with you again. Um, and we do have recordings from previous workshops where we demonstrated the uh, beginning piece of Kaltura. So let's see. All right. I'm going to close out of this. So the very first time that you use Kaltura, you need to be on a regular computer, whether that's a Mac or a PC. Uh, you don't want to do this from your mobile device. And you're going to log into Blackboard and you're going to click on Tools. When you click on tools, you'll see all of these screen menu options, and you're just going to click on Kaltura My Media. The very first time you log in, it's going to ask you, are you using a Mac or are you using a PC? Um, and you just make the correct distinction. Um, again, you can use a laptop, you can use a desktop, uh, any device like that, but not a mobile device. And then you'll be all set to go. All right, so let's go back to that video quiz, which I sort of interrupted. Oh, look, it's already here. All right. So if you need to edit it, you can go back to the Actions tab here, and we're going to launch the editor. All right, so at this stage, you're now ready to begin adding questions to your quiz. So what you will end up doing is you'll go right here and you'll click the play button. Right. And I know everything's running a little bit slow right now. Um, but you would pause your, your video wherever you want to insert a quiz question. And it's going to ask you to add a question. Now, I think some of us have gotten spoiled with Blackboard and all of the test and quiz functions that are available. And I have to warn you that you don't have quite such a robust menu option for your Kaltura quizzes. You have several different types of questions that you can choose from. You can do a multiple choice question. You could do a true or false question. An open-ended question will come up like an essay question or a short answer question. And then there's something called a reflection point, which I don't really consider it uh, to be in the same category as the other three. A reflection point is more like you have paused the video and you want students to share their thoughts or their impression at that time. It's not quite the same as uh, the other three questions. We'll just go ahead and we'll click on a multiple choice one here. It asks you, would you like to add a question? So you can ask. Do you love this quiz? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, I can keep, uh, I can add another uh, answer here. Now, 
if you want to shuffle the order of the uh, answers, you certainly can. You can go right here. You see these little arrows in the corner. And that'll just rearrange the, the order. Um, if you would like to give a hint to your students, you can click this little button up here. And you can give them a hint. Now, I have received some questions. Can uh, Kaltura randomize the questions? No, I'm afraid that's something that uh, Kaltura does not have the ability to do. So wherever you insert a question in the middle of your quiz, that's where your students will um, be paused and they have to answer the question. They're all going to get the same question at the same time because you've decided where it needs to be inserted in the fill. So we'll click save. Okay, and you can kind of see the little timeline progression down here. Where is it at? So we can continue to play. Maybe I can move this cursor along. All right, and we'll pause it. And we can ask a different question this time. So we can do a true false. Now, the nice thing about true false is that you actually can um, change these. You could change it to yes, no. And you also have that same little hint bubble up here if you would like to use that. And we can do one more. We'll go ahead and we'll push play. I know Kelter is being a little bit slow right now. I do think um, that the server is a bit overloaded right now at the start of the semester. Uh, but ordinarily, if I just push play, then you would hear the video playing and you could just choose where to pause the video and where to insert a question. So we'll go ahead and we'll even do an open-ended question. And that's all there is to it. There's no options to choose from. You're not shuffling the answers. Really, this will come up as a uh, short answer or an essay question. So if you have an expectation on how long the responses should be, that might be something you would include here. And you can click Save. So once you've added all of your questions, then it becomes the time for you to embed it within your course. Now, I think in retrospect, I should have titled this workshop, How to Create an Interactive Video Quiz with Kaltura. Uh, one of the things that we need to emphasize here is that when you create these questions, they should occur as the students are watching the video. Um, so you need to space them out. And we haven't gotten a definitive answer on how far apart these questions should be spaced, but um, at least 15 seconds apart seems to, to do well. So. Just as a reminder, when you create a video quiz, it's going to pause the students periodically throughout the duration of the video to, so that they can answer the questions. All right, so we're about ready to embed these into an actual Blackboard class, and I will show you Ultra and Original. But before I do that, I'm gonna to return to the room and see if we have any quick questions. Any questions for me yet? I don't see anything on the chat pod. Okay, well, all looks quiet, so that's good. We're gonna go ahead and we can start with, I think, an original course. Ooh, I should probably share my screen with you. All right, 
So now we're done with our quiz here. Okay. We can actually exit out of Kaltura entirely. So at this point, it's all about opening up your course. And again, there are two different ways that we can insert a quiz. We can insert a quiz as a graded activity, or we can insert a quiz just as an interactive learning exercise, uh, but it doesn't count for any points within the course. So I'm just going to use one of my sandboxes here. Okay. So here I am in an original classroom. I know before some of you weren't sure which course view you're using. So if this is what your Blackboard course looks like, then you are in the original view. So I'm just going to navigate to my course content. And here you can see all of my weekly modules. So we can start with week one. All right. And somewhere in here, I need to insert my video quiz. I'm going to go up to this little tab here where it says build content. And I'm going to scroll down. Here you'll see Kaltura video or, oops, sorry about that, hit the scroll bar. We have Kaltura video quiz. So if you want this to count for points towards your, towards your student's grade, you need to select Kaltura video quiz. Now it's going to take me back to my media gallery and it shows me all of the quizzes that I've created. So I'm going to select the correct one. I'm just going to click the embed button. Now it puts the uh, quiz all the way down at the bottom of the module. If that bothers me, I can always drag and drop and I can move it. Now at this point, you're wondering, well, how many points is it worth? Well, that's where you need to edit it. So we're going to go right here and we're going to go to the um, edit option. So if you miss that, you just hover your mouse to the right of the title. And there should be a little drop down menu. We're going to click edit. And it's going to ask you how many points are possible. So I made a quiz that has three questions. I'm going to make it worth a total of nine points, which means that each question will be worth three points. And that's really all there is to it. Now, again, Kaltura is not as robust as Blackboard. I am unable to change the point values per question. It is automatically going to make them each worth the same amount of points. It's just going to evenly distribute it. I can't make one question worth two points and one question worth one point. Unfortunately, the system is just not sophisticated enough to handle that. Um, but now when I go into the Grade Center, there will be a column for the uh, basic storyboarding in five minutes quiz. And it'll be worth the total of nine points. It automatically grades it because you have already entered the correct, um, the correct amount of points other than for essay questions. Now that part you have to grade and you have to enter the points for it. But for the true false or for the multiple choice, it's already taken care of for you. So that's how you embed a quiz and how you make it worth points for your students. Now, if you want to embed this as a learning activity for your students, but you don't want it worth any points, um, I will show you how to do that next. Okay. So we would go up to the build content section. And this time we're just going to click Kaltura Video. When I click Kaltura Video, it takes me to every single type of video that's in my Kaltura library, including the quizzes. So here it is. I'm going to embed it. And there it came all the way down here. Now, it still says it's a quiz. It's telling the students that they have to answer some questions, but because I chose to embed this as a Kaltura video, there are no points associated with this, and it does not create a column within the Grade Center. 
So students will still have to pause periodically throughout the, the video at those spots where you designated to answer the questions before they can move on. All right, I heard some pings back in our classroom, so I'll go ahead and I'll come back there and then I'll show you how to do this from the ultra view. Exit out of here. Okay, so somebody asked if I could re-demonstrate that. I certainly can. Uh, yes, yeah, so that you embed the same way you demonstrated for the Kaltura video, um, only for the Kaltura quiz, correct. So it's just a matter of choosing the correct menu option when you embed the, the quiz. If you want it graded, it's a quiz. If you want it ungraded, just embed it as an actual video. Natalie, did you have a question? So Andrea asked, when ungraded, will it still be possible to see how students scored by looking at Kaltura Analytics? Yes, that is correct. And I have a little bit more about that um, after I show you how to do this from the ultra version. So, okay, I'm gonna hop back into an ultra classroom and show you the embed options. The controls are just a little bit different, but it's still the same basic process. So for those of you who are using the Ultra Classroom, here's another one of my sandboxes. Okay. Maybe we'll go to week zero here. Okay, so I'm going to hover my mouse wherever it is that I want to insert a video quiz, and you'll see the little purple plus button show up. And when we do this, we're going to click on the content market. You get all of these options with the content market. And again, we just have to scroll down. So we have two options, Kaltura video and Kaltura video quiz. If I want it to be graded, of course, I'm going to select the Kaltura video quiz. It's going to reroute back to my Kaltura library. And here's the one that we just created, the basic storyboarding. All right, where did I put that? Here it is, basic storyboarding right here in unit zero. Now when I click on it, It's going to be full screen. This is what my students will see. And let's see if they'll let me back out of that. very slow. What I want it to do is I want it to pull up the screen where I have the little gear icon in the right hand corner um, and that allows me to uh, enter the points but for some reason we're just getting a black screen which tells me that uh, Kaltura is kind of overloaded right now. Um, this is the screen that I wanted. Um, so this is just a plain assignment, but everybody can see the gear icon here. When you click on that, it asks how many points do you want to use. Oops. Um, and you can grade it as an activity. So again, it's really just about selecting the correct embed option. Do you want to have it as a graded video quiz, or do you just want it as an interactive video learning activity? So, um, and if I wanted to do the 
video just as an interactive activity, I would select the content market. And I would select Kaltura video. So I do apologize that everything's a little slow right now and you're getting that black screen. I hope you can take my word for it. Uh, and when things are moving a little bit faster, when you embed the Kaltura video quiz, after you put it in your course and you click on it, you're going to click the gear icon and you're going to give it a point value. Um, that way you can decide how many points your quiz is worth and it creates that center, uh, that column within your, your grade book. So that's both styles. And I'm gonna to return to our shared room here. Now that we're back in the room, I'm sure we're going to have some questions to go through. Here are some best practice tips for you that I've learned with Kaltura quizzes. Try to edit the video before you turn it into a quiz. It's not that you can't do it in reverse order, but it's clunkier and it's going to take you a lot more time. So always try to make sure and then if there was a section you wanted to crop out or if you were worried about the captions, try to take care of that before you turn it into a quiz. Um, again, I want to uh, caution you to please space out your quiz questions. Um, particularly, you need to insert your quiz questions while the video is playing. We have learned that Kaltura does not let you um, set up the video where it plays without interruption and then you tack on the questions at the end. This will spit out error messages and it actually just doesn't work. So your quiz questions really need to be peppered throughout the duration of your video. And we've found that at least 15 seconds between questions seems to work well for the system. It doesn't overload it, it doesn't confuse it. So, um, you know, you might try to put it several minutes apart depending on how long of a video clip you have. But again, try to try to give it space. I would say to encourage your students to try to complete quizzes in one setting. Um, it does like to freeze up. We've noticed and there are known errors uh, with Kaltura that have already been reported uh, with pausing or stopping a quiz and then trying to resume it at a later time. So I know it's something they're working on. I don't have a really good fix for it yet. So that's my best advice to you at this time. We do recommend that your students try to use this in a Google Chrome browser. Um, and I think that's generally good advice for most things. Blackboard also seems to work best in Google Chrome. And let's talk about the pitfalls. So these are the, the little potholes that I've already fallen into. So again, we want to try to um, complete that video quiz in one setting. So Remember that page that we looked at where you could customize a message to your students You can say, hey, you're going to be taking a video quiz. Please make sure that you complete this in one setting and give them a ballpark figure on how long you think it will take them to complete it. Um, you do not want to really edit or alter your video quiz um, after students have begun participating. It's not quite as robust as Blackboard. In Blackboard, if you gave your students a quiz and you realize that one of your quiz answers was wrong, you could update it. And even students who had already submitted the quiz, um, the grade column would automatically correct for them. Kaltura doesn't do that. So definitely want to try to avoid that situation. The hotspots do not work in the Kaltura quiz. So uh, for those of you who are wondering what hotspots are, Hotspots are where you want your students to watch a video and it will pause it and it will redirect them to an outside site. So maybe you wanted them to go to a site that had something about medical statistics and after they reviewed that website, they would come back to the video and it would resume playing. It's a nice feature, but it doesn't work within the quizzes. And I think we mentioned it before. Uh, you definitely do not want to post your questions at the end of the video. It does not work. All right, so I 
have a couple of additional reminders for you. I think we covered it. If you want it to be a graded video quiz, it needs to be embedded as a Kaltura quiz. If you want it to be an ungraded exercise, it should be embedded as a Kaltura video. Point values for graded videos are assigned in Blackboard, not Kaltura. All quiz questions will be assigned the same point values. You know, a graded quiz will automatically update in the Blackboard Grade Center or Gradebook. So once the student completes the quiz, the points will post in the, in the grade column. However, the one caveat to this is you can only view student responses in Kaltura, not in Blackboard. So if you gave a quiz to your students, um, and all of them, let's just say, were multiple choice questions, and you know that your students got six out of the nine points, and you want to know what did they get wrong, um, it will not show you that from the Grade Center or the Grade Book in Blackboard. If you want to see what they got wrong and what they got right, you actually need to open up Kaltura and go to the video analytics. So, I feel like we're going to have some questions coming up. I'll be happy to answer some of those. Uh, in the meantime, I have posted on the screen a picture of our Kaltura website. We have all sorts of tips and uh, tutorials for you on this site. It'll probably answer many of your questions. So I did want to direct you to this wonderful resource. And I'm going to take a look over here at the chat pod to see what we have going. So Justin Tyler asked, if students are given repeated attempts on a quiz, can we set the amount of attempts that are given or will it be unlimited? So uh, great question. You can give them um, as many attempts as you would like. You could give them one, you could give them three, you could give them unlimited. And then if you wanted to see how many attempts each student used, uh, you would go to the video analytics in Kaltura. Okay, so Andrea asked um, if you're planning on doing weekly Kaltura quizzes, do they count separately in the Grade Center or is it possible to aggregate them under one column? Um, well, unfortunately, Kaltura is not that sophisticated, so it's going to end up giving you one column per video. So at the end of the course, if that's too bulky for you to look at, you might do a condensed, uh, you know, column and, and you'll put in all of the the different scores into one column just so it's easier to look at. Uh, but unfortunately, Kaltura is just not that sophisticated to do it for you. So yes, Sarah was saying the same thing, Andrea, but you can have Blackboard aggregate the scores for you, correct. And Diane asks, can you show us an example of analytics in Kaltura? I certainly can. Let me share my screen with you one more time. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Now, most of my videos are kind of dummy files, but that's okay. You'll still get the, the idea here. Let me get out of this course. Okay. So here we are back at Kaltura. And one of the nice things here is that there is a search bar at the top, so I don't have to scroll through everything. I'm just going to look for some of my quizzes. It's browsing, it's thinking. You can see the little bar going across the top. are going a little bit slow with Kaltura today. All right, so let's find a quiz. Let's try this one more time. Otherwise, I'm going to have to search for it manually. Okay, that was 
that was better. Maybe the secret here was refreshing my screen. So here are all of my videos that came up with the word quiz tagged in it. So we'll take a look. Um, all right, we'll see if maybe this one has some analytic information for you to look at. So I found the quiz that I wanted. I clicked on the title. I'm going to scroll down and underneath the picture of the video screen here, we're going to click on actions and we're going to go to analytics. So you'll notice you'll actually have three different tabs here. And this first one is kind of the broad video analytics. You know, how many different uh, times have people played it? Mm, this is not a very good one. It doesn't show me unique viewers. So mm, perhaps not the best quiz. I might find you a different one. I'm going to find one. Hang in there with me. Um, So we're going to click on that Actions tab, Analytics. Ah, okay, there we go. So this gives us some, some different information. It has been played three different times by two unique viewers. And if I want to see more about how somebody actually performed on the quiz, I can go right here to Quiz Questions. I can see what were, what were the questions. And then I can go by quiz users. And this will actually tell you, I think I was the quiz user. That's why there's nothing here. Um, again, I, I do apologize. Mine are mostly dummy quizzes, but it'll give you a whole list. So presumably if everybody in your course took this quiz, you're going to have all of their usernames here. It's going to tell you um, how many attempts did they take the quiz? What was their final score? So it gives you all of the information that you're looking for between these three tabs. And um, same thing here, you know, if you want to click on an individual user, you can click on their name. Particularly, this is helpful maybe if you did that short answer or that essay style um, quiz question, then you can see how they actually responded. And I know you would like to have that information when you're actually in the Blackboard gradebook. Um, but it does not have that capability. So I just want to be very honest with you. If you want to see what your students wrote, you'll have to go back here to the video analytics. I'm going to try one more video and maybe I can find something where you can actually see how people responded. back into the classroom though and see what other questions I can answer. All right, so is there any questions in the chat pod for me? Nothing, looks pretty quiet. So, Natalie, if in error I choose the wrong answer and a bunch of students email you and let you know that uh, question seven was wrong, am I able to fix it via Kaltura? Um, again, that was kind of one of the limitations that I, I was mentioning before. So you can go back in there and you can correct it for um, all of your other students who maybe have not yet 
taken the quiz. Unfortunately, for those seven students who emailed you to let you know that there was an error, you'll have to go back in and manually adjust the grade book. Now, let's see. this up on the screen for you so you have something to look at. We do have some upcoming workshops, so we just wanted to make sure to point these out to you. And I'm sorry Kelter is being a little bit fussy today. I hope the presentation worked other than some of the screens were stalling a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll shut off the recording now. I've still got about 12 more minutes left. I, I think I might have breezed through that. But um, you know, if I can answer any more questions, if you need me to demonstrate something, let me know. I'm going to hang around. And I did see a question here. Um, can I send out the recording as soon as possible? Yes, I will be doing that. Um, I will try to get it today, if not tomorrow. I need to make sure that the captions have uploaded.